Oh, come on, speed up. Speed up. Speed up, speed up. No, I didn't say that, Daniel. I said speed up. Not the other word. But I'll say it now. Speedo, 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 speedo. special is Jeopardy featuring Alex Trebek on the DOS. So let's have a good game, shall we? Put it right there. Thank you. All right, let's see if we can win Margaret a bundle in cash and prizes starting with Jeopardy featuring Alex Trebek and we're playing on the DOS. Let's go. Now I do not know if Margaret Carey has her own YouTube channel or not, but if someone can find a way to get in touch with her and show her these videos, I know she'll appreciate it. We'll do intermediate. I am returning. YouTube specials, yep, very good. My opponents are Myrna and Josh today. Hi everyone and welcome to Jeopardy. Thank you. Let's play. Here we go, round one. Round one. The Jeopardy round. One daily double will appear on the board in these categories. Our categories are cosmetics, flowers and trees, Shakespeare, F in biology, notice the quotation marks, starts with the letter G, notice the quotation marks there, and 1946. I can deal with these categories, so I'm going to leave them as they are. And where am I going to start? Cosmetics 100. Due to the short supply of these during World War II, leg makeup was invented to cover the gap. What are nylon stockings? I think so. That's it. Josh got it right. He's got his first bit of cash. So he's on the board. Let's see where he goes next. He wants cosmetics 200, okay? Actress Lily Langtree kept her skin fresh by rolling naked in this early morning substance. What is dew? You are correct. Okay. I'll take cosmetics for 300, please. Women's wigs in 18th century England were matted with this type of animal fat to keep them from coming apart. What is lard? Right. 
Oh, wow. I just took a random complete guess on that one, but I got it right. Let's keep it going. I will take cosmetics for 400, please. This lethal metal was a popular facial whitener during the Renaissance. What is lead? Yeah. Cosmetics for 500. I got it right. Let's go get the next clue. This makeup maven, known for Aramis and Clinique, started out selling her Viennese uncle's face cream. Ooh, I'll give this one to Josh because I really don't know. Estee Lauder? Yep. Okay, that, that makes sense. So the cosmetics category is out of the way. We have five categories left. Where will Josh go next? Let's find out right now. 1946-100. College enrollment reached an all-time high as veterans returned with the help of this legislation. What is the GI Bill? Yep. Uh, 1946 for 200. Comics reporter who launched, launched a new career with his book, I, the Jury. Ooh. It was... Mickey Spillane? That's it. Okay. To be honest, I'm not sure if I would have guessed that, but... Who knows? 946300. On April 18th, this ineffective world body was finally disbanded. Ugh. Don't have a clue. What is the... What was the League of Nations? That's it. And just like that, Josh takes the lead. Only about $100, though, and it's still very early... Excuse me. It's still very early in the game. 1946-400. On the first day of 1946, he announced that he wasn't divine. Wow. Oh, well. No, sorry, that is wrong. For the first time this game, Josh actually got something wrong. I don't know this one. I don't really remember, so I'm going to hold back and not guess. Let's see if Myrna knows this one any better than I do. Long John Silver? No, sorry, that is wrong. There's no way that could be right. Well, oh, Myrna's at minus 400. She's not off to a good start. I'm going to have to pass on this one because I don't know. The correct response is... Emperor Hirohito. Oh, okay. Got it. Nevertheless, Josh, your selection. 1946-500. His song, There's No Business Like Show Business, debuted in Annie Get Your Gun. Uh, who's Irving Berlin? Yes. There we go. Got a couple of clues right in that category. There's four remaining categories left, so let's go get the next one. How about F in biology 100, please? The, sur the substance used to preserve frogs that are dissected in biology class. What is formaldehyde? Yes. I'll take F in biology for 200. The fennec is the smallest of these animals. The common red is the best known. What are foxes? That's it. Uh, F in biology for 300, please. The union of two gametes to form a zygote. What is fertilization? You are correct. F in biology for 400. By definition, a substance capable of killing a non-green plant such as mold or mildew. What is a fungicide? You are correct. F in biology for 500. Could be on our way to running the category. Let's find out. 
The two leg bones that fit this category what are the femur and fibula? Yep. All right. We ran the category. I have $3,000 sitting in front of me right now. Um, what was the other F category? It was flowers of trees. I'll take that. 100. While many trees bear flowers, codifers bear these. What are cones? You are correct. Flowers of trees for 200. Okay, doing good here. It's what the inchworm is measuring in a song from the film Hans Christian Andersen. What are the marigolds? Oh, misspelled it. Right. Oh, there we go. I corrected it. I'll take flowers and trees for 300. Oregon's huge virgin timber forests are dominated by this fir, named for a famous botanist. What is the Douglas fir? That's it. Flowers and trees for 400. From the Spanish word for raft, it's the lightest wood of commercial use. What is balsa? Yes. Flowers and trees for 500. The answer there is the daily double. Okay, I found the daily double, and I have how much? $4,000? I'll bet it all. Some mistakenly think this yellow flower, was proposed for the U.S. national flower, causes hay fever. What is goldenrod? You are correct. Eight thousand dollars, just like that, sitting pretty. Okay, let's go get another one. How about um, Shakespeare? One hundred. Shakespeare described them as a pair of star-crossed lovers. Who are Romeo and Juliet? You are correct. I'll take Shakespeare for two hundred. Title character said, the play's the thing wherein I'll catch the conscience of the king, was Hamlet. You are correct. Shakespeare for 300. Angered at the murder of Caesar, he said, cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. Was it Anthony Armstrong? No. No. No way. Oh, Myrna buzzes in. Mark Antony. Oh, yeah. Yep. That makes sense. So... Myrna is correct. Let's see where she goes next. She wants Shakespeare for 400. Mrs. Othello. Oh, um, who, who was Desdemona? Yes. All right. Shakespeare for 500. The American Shakespeare Festival Theater is in Stratford on House of Tonic, a river in this state. What is Connecticut? Right. All right. We're up to $9,200 and we only have one category left. And that is starts with the letter G. And I'll start with $100. This blessing can be said either before or after a meal. What is grace? You are correct. 200, please. A noble exploit, whether or not it's performed by a man named Bo. What is a jest? G-E-S-T-E. -E. You are correct. 300.
Okay, keep it going. It's the short last name of John Robert, the Irishman known for his shorthand. Ooh, I forgot this one. Greg, oh yeah. You are correct. That makes sense. It wasn't coming to me right away, but that's okay. We're not going to worry about it. We're going to go on to the next clue. Speaking of next clues, there's only two left. 400. From the hunt for flavored, for, for the word for hunted meat, it can mean off color or off flavor. What is gamey? Right. Now the last clue. If I get this last clue right, then I'll be in the five figures at the end of the Jeopardy round with over $10,000. Let's go. Dino, Ural, and Medusa were the Gorgons. Yes. So at the end of the Jeopardy round, I have $10,400, Josh $700, Myrna minus $100, so she'll make the first one. The double Jeopardy round. So here we go. <laughs> Two daily doubles to help you in one of these categories. We have World War II, books, museums, the 1930s, foreign phrases, and finally, leftovers, okay? I will not change the categories. I'm going to leave them as they are. Myrna, you're in last place, so you get to make the first selection. Museums 200. New York City's Museum of This has run Twilight Zone, The Honeymooners, and Milton Burrow Festivals. What is modern art? No. Ah. First clue, I've gotten incorrect all game, but that's okay. The Museum of Broadcasting? You are correct. Okay, that makes sense. So now Myrna has some cash and she gets to make the she gets to continue selecting. Where to? Museums for four hundred. Famous raft Kontiki has its own museum in this city, Norway's capital. What is Oslo? That's it. I'll take um same category for six hundred. Oh yeah, museums is the category. I it left my mind for just a split second. L.A.'s Mona is a museum of this specialized light art. Specialized light art. Neon? Right. That makes sense. Where to, Myrna? Museum's 800. In 1793, the French government declared that the royal collections here should be open to the public. The Louvre, that makes sense. Yes. Corning Museum specializes in objects made of this material. What is glass? That's it. Okay. $11,600 and I get to make the next selection. Let's see which one I want. I want books for 200. His books, Shogun, Whirlwind, Taipan, and Noble House have all inspired board games. Ann Landers? No. He's, Ann Landers is not a male last time I checked. How about it, Myrna? Jerry Lewis? No. No way. I don't know this one myself, so I'm not even going to try. The correct response is... James Clavell was his name. Uh, let's take books for 400. This 1895 novel, subtitled An Episode of the American Civil War, was written by a 22-year-old. What is the Red Badge of Courage? Right. 
Uh, books for 600. Elliot Roosevelt writes mystery novels which feature this historical figure as a detective. Josh. Nope. Nope. Sorry, that is wrong. One in the hole at minus $300. Not very good. Or minus $100, excuse me. Minus $100. Because that clue is worth $600. My bad. Myrna, how about it? You want to take a stab at it? Who is Sidney Sheldon? No. Not Sidney Sheldon. I don't have a guess on this one, so I'm not going to try. The correct response is Eleanor Roosevelt. Okay. Kind of makes sense. Um, 800, please. Same category books. Richard Adams' novel Traveler is a tale of the Civil War as seen through the eyes of this man's horse. Who's Robert E. Lee? That's it. Uh, books for one thousand. Twelve thousand eight hundred dollars right now. Daily double. The answer there is the daily double. One of the two in the round, and I'm out front with twelve thousand eight hundred dollars. I'll just do twelve hundred. Here is the clue in books. A nightmare gave she Mary Shelley the idea for this novel. What is Frankenstein? You are correct. And I'm up to fourteen thousand dollars. Very good. I would like to take foreign phrases for two hundred. French equivalent to enjoy your meal. What is bon appetit? Yes. Foreign phrases for four hundred. Italian word that doubles for thank you and excuse me. What is prego? Yes. Four phrases for 600. What you should do if a Hawaiian tells you to wiki wiki. What is hurry up? Oops. Yes. Thank you. Four phrases for 800. How you would ask in German if someone spoke German? Josh. Sprechen Sie Deutsch. Right. Very good. And he's tied with Myrna at $700 right now. Okay, you get to choose, Josh. World War II for 200 In 1944, this country was hit by 650,000 tons of bombs. Uh, what is Japan? No. No. Nope. How about it, Josh? Do you know? Germany? Yes. Germany. Okay. My other guess would have been France. So, Japan or France, I would have been wrong either way. World War II, 400. In December 1940, the Japanese referred to this forthcoming attack as Operation Z. Oh, I have a, I have a clue what it could be, but I'm not confident enough to buzz in. Pearl Harbor? Yes. Okay. I was thinking kamikaze for some reason or another, but I would have been wrong, so it's fine either way. Josh, your turn. Before the stop at Bitburg Cemetery, Reagan visited the site of this concentration camp. Nope. No. The 
Correct response is Bergen Belson. Bergen Belson. World War II 800. Germany's Tiger tanks were built by this auto manufacturer. Josh, do you know? No, he doesn't. No. Back in the hole he goes. The correct response is Porsche. Okay, go to the next one. City where de Gaulle set up the Provisional National Committee of the Free French in 1940. Let's see if Josh can get out of the hole. London? You are correct. London, England. Yep, so he's out of the hole and has $900. Okay, Josh, where are we going? 1930s for 200. In 1939, he said, as soon as I've carried out my program for Germany, I shall take up painting. Who is Adolf Hitler? Right. The 1930s for 400. In 1933, the Mayo Clinic established the first bank of this type. What is a blood bank? You are correct. The 1930s for 600. Answer there, the other. The answer there is the daily double. And I have how much? 15 6? Let's do 4,400. Okay, for $20,000, here is the clue. His entire reign as King of England was in 1936. Who was Edward the Sixth? No. No. Was it George the Sixth? The correct response is Edward the Eighth. It was Edward the Eighth, not Edward the Sixth. But I'm still in the lead. 1930s 800. Constantinople officially changed its name to this in 1930. What is Istanbul? Yes. The 1930s, 1,000. Excuse me. In 1931, he received an 11-year sentence for a tax evasion, but was released mortally ill in 1939. Who is Al Capone? Yes. Okay. I will take four phrases a thousand. Widely known Japanese idiom, which means, is that right? Josh. Aso? You are correct. Very good, very good. Aso, aso, however you say it. Either way. Here's 1900, Josh. We have one category left. Remind me with the categories one more time. Leftovers, okay? 200. All U.S. currency carries this motto. What is in God we trust? That's it. 400. Thomas Jefferson was our first president born under this sign, the first of the Zodiac. What is Aries? Right. 600. The plot of this film comedy revolves around a Coke bottle that is dropped over from a, that is dropped from a plane over Botswana. What is the gods must be crazy? That's it. Uh, for 800, please. Long before baseball was invented, Indians built dugouts, which they use as these. What are canoes? Yes. And now the last clip.
The Miss America pageant stopped giving this award for friendliness in 1974. What is Miss Congeniality? Right. So at the end of the double jeopardy round, I have sixteen thousand dollars. Josh has nineteen hundred. Myrna seven hundred. So let's get ready for final jeopardy. Here is today's final jeopardy category. Nineteen sixty-eight. Okay. I'm gonna do six thousand dollars. Final jeopardy answer is. The ship was seized by North Korea January twenty-third, and the crew was held until December twenty-second. I'm going to say what is the USS Pueblo. Whether I'm right, whether I'm wrong, it won't matter. What did you put down as your response? The USS Pueblo. Right. Got it. And your wager was? 6000 So I end up with $22,000, and I am the overall winner. What did you put down as your response? Nothing. No, sorry, that is wrong. And how much did you wager? And your wager was? $250. You dropped to four fifty. Let's go to Josh. Did he come up with the USS Pueblo? What did you put down as your response? The North Star, no. No, sorry, that is wrong. So it's going to cost him two. How much? And your wager was? Twelve fifty. so you dropped to $650 and finished in second place. But as mentioned, I'm the overall winner with $22,000. So that'll wrap it up for this part of Margaret Carey's birthday special. I'll see you all for part two following this break. We'll be back. Great game.